my name is Roy Olson and uh, I'm uh, your missionary to Romania thinking about some things today uh, and see what you uh, think about it. We ministers, we like to have feedback from people, you know, like a hallelujah or an amen or I'm with you brother or preach it brother and that type of uh, exclamations uh, that feeds us and empowers us and invigorates us to speak and uh, minister and bless God's people and strengthen them. And, uh, you know, I've been there, done that. I'm at almost 73 years of age. I say I've been around the block a few times and uh, been really in uh, Christianity in some ways all of my life, although I did not make a personal commitment uh, to the Lord Jesus Christ until I was in college. But thinking today, what should we as veteran ministers of the gospel be doing? You know, these, these kind of responses to which I referred are good. There's nothing wrong with them. But I think at some point we need to begin to teach and establish uh, more of what I would call principles. Principles. When you preach to the choir and uh, you say things like, Jesus Christ is Lord, what are they going to say but amen? And we know uh, things like that to say to get a response from people. But there are issues that are more fundamental than uh, immediate responses. I'm uh, thinking like, how about proper response to proper authority. In other words, when somebody wants to leave a church, how can they do that with dignity? Or they're angry with another person in the church or even with the leadership or pastor of the church. Uh, how can issues like that be resolved? Sometimes, you know, it's either my way or hit the highway. Uh, and there's, there's a termination of relationship rather than resolution of issues that come up. How do we address things like that? How do we equip people with information by which issues like that can uh, come up uh, and be resolved? And there are other <coughs> principles uh, 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 like that. Uh, how to, how to instead of rebelling, how to appeal to authority, as uh, Esther did uh, to the king. She appealed to him, and uh, there are certainly precedents for that biblical instruction for how to. Uh, do things like that. Other issues are ministerial courtesy. Now, I remember as a pastor in the state of New York that a group of people, maybe as many as 50, had left another church and come to the church where I pastored. Now, that certainly was an ego inflator. On the one hand, on the other hand, I said to myself, why did they leave? Did they leave with dignity? Did they leave properly? And uh, I felt my responsibility was to contact the pastor of the church from which this group had uh, emigrated and come to us. And indeed, he was very gracious and uh, appreciative uh, of uh, my phone call and our discussion together. And... Uh, it was, it was rather, rather than roll out the red carpet for people who have left the church in anger, bitterness, and resentment and got a group together and, and exited the church 
to speak to the pastor and appeal to him and uh, see if there was a predominant issue that could be resolved together. Well, uh, uh, with that pastor's knowledge and consent, you know, uh, I couldn't just throw them out of the church, so they continued. But you know what happened. A few years later, they made an exit from the church which I pastored. It was predictable. And uh, then they went to another church, and I happened to know the pastor there where they went, and uh, he did not uh, call me or uh, anything of that nature, but he could have. He should have. But it was not my business to uh, hold resentment, and if they want to go, you know, so be it. Without a discussion, without uh, uh, addressing issues or anything like that, they just picked up and left. And it was about the same group that had earlier come from another church. And indeed, they stayed with that pastor for a few years. And do you know what happened? Can you guess? Absolutely. Soon they found fault with him, and they left that. And, and so we call it sifting sand. That is not church growth. That is church swelling, as I heard somebody refer to it. Our focus needs to be to uh, find the unchurched, find those who do not have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ and develop them, uh, mentor them, build them so we build a solid foundational churches that can do the job of the ministry. So those are just a, thought, a few th thoughts. You know, we either deal with, with life principles that will establish people on a firm foundation or we go the emotional route of, you know, uh, shouting, clapping, dancing, and so on. And where people, you know, they're, they're a mile wide and an inch deep. No. Solid people. Uh, and uh, it's our responsibility as those in ministry to see to it that uh, we minister in this way. Will we lose people? Well, some people we're going to lose anyway. But um, we don't want to build on sifting sand, but on a solid rock. What do you think? Well, those are my thoughts. God bless you. Until next time. I'm your friend, Roy, and God bless you. Goodbye.